Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Amy here. Today we're going to talk about the books that I'll be reading for the month of July, or the, the books that I feel like I want to be reading for the month of July. I was actually supposed to start this book, it was on my TBR I think for May, uh, but I never got to it. This is Blindsided by Becca Steele. I actually started it last night. I'm not too far in, maybe three or four chapters in. Uh, we're following Noah and Liam, although I haven't got to Liam's part of the story just yet. The first, like, the, the prologue and the first two chapters were um, no, uh, Noah. So Noah is at his first year at university. It's LSU is what the series is called. This is book one, um, but it's like the, it's, it stands for London something university <laughs> or something like that. It's, it's not Louisiana State University, although that would be cool. But anyway, the book starts us off as Noah is, um, sort of gets in a little fender bender with a guy as they're trying to pull into the same parking space. Uh, when Noah tries to get settled in at his new place or the house where he'll be staying with other um, college students, in walks none other than Liam, the guy that he blindsided in the parking lot. Uh, so that's as far as I, I got. Um, but yeah, so I think this is going to be their, their little story from like maybe a a hate to love story although I don't think Noah necessarily hates the guy. They don't really know each other. Uh, they just happen to crash into each other and uh, so yeah so I'm excited to see where their relationship goes and then I also want to continue with the uh, Briggs Fairy Day series this is the entire series in one book uh, the last time I checked on Kay Webster's website this book was sold out that's why I didn't link it last time but you can get these books separately uh, I know for sure you can the ones that Kay Webster wrote but I, I realized as I was finishing up the um, Sheriff's Secret, which is the first book in the series, that um, Misty Walker, she wrote um, some of the stories in here as well. So it's not all Kay Webster. So I'm wondering if maybe the book can also be found on her website. I will definitely check that out. And if it is, it will be linked down below in my description box. And as always, I, don't, I, don't, I forget to let y'all know every book that I mention, I always lick it. Uh, lick it? I don't lick it. <laughs> I link it down in the description box below for your convenience. So yeah, I'll see if I can find this this whole series, or if not, I'll try to find the um, individual books. I know Kay Webster has the individual books on her website, as well as Amazon, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I don't know about Misty Walker. I've never read anything by this author, so I'm super excited. So the second story in the book is uh, Kian's Focus. And we do meet Kian in the first book. Uh, he is actually, I guess, um, the from the first book, our guy, our sheriff from the first book, Jackson, uh, he and Kian sort of have a past. They were secret lovers in high school. Um, so yeah, I don't want to give too much away in case you do want to read the story because they do all link together. Although they could probably be read as standalones. I haven't started Kian's Focus just yet but I do want to get to this story in the month of July. This is the cover on Goodreads. Uh, this one says, I lost my boyfriend on the night I planned to propose. It was a horrific accident that was all my fault. I gave up and resigned myself into a life of obs obscurity. Until I had a call that my sister Sarah needed me, it gave me purpose and I ran to her rescue because that's what I've done our whole lives. That's how I ended up in Briggs Ferry Bay. But when I showed up, things were so much worse than I thought. She was sullen, fragile, and sinking into a depression. I didn't know how I'd get her out. Together, we were drowning until I met Kian. He's everything I'm not, bouncy, bubbly, full of life, and an innate ability to make everything better. He makes me believe I can be happy again. So it does say at the bottom that um, each book can be read as a standalone, but they're best read in order. Enemies to Lovers, Hurt Comfort, Age Gap Romance, and so much more. So that's just all the books combined. Uh, Enemies to Lovers is, was definitely Jackson and Dante's story from the first book. Um, Hurt Comfort, it looks like it's going to be Kian's focus in this book. It looks like it may be a little bit more deeper, not necessarily darker, but possibly uh, than the first book. 
Uh, it says, fall in love with the charming small town gay romances of Briggs Ferry Bay. Kian's focus is an emotional male male romance. It deals in sensitive topics such as suicide, but it ends happily. So that's Kian's focus. Moving back to mysteries and thrillers, it's been a hot minute since I've read a mystery thriller, so I'm kind of excited. I'm ready to get back into the genre. Uh, so of course I picked like I have three hard covers right here and I have one on my phone in my Kindle um, that I have had that I have been sitting on for a while so it's time to read it so we'll talk about that one first so it is keep it in the family by John Moores I'm really excited about this I wasn't crazy about the last John Moores I read which was um, I think called the minders uh, I actually have a bunch of books I'm unhauling and it might be in there so stay tuned for that video um, so yeah I wasn't obviously I wasn't super crazy about that read but this one the cover of course just got me because it looks super creepy this one says in this chilling novel from best-selling author John Moore's a young couple's house hides terrible secrets and not all of them are confined to the past Mia and Finn are busy turning a derelict house into their dream home when Mia unexpectedly falls pregnant. But just when they think the house is ready, Mia discovers a chilling message scored into a skirting board. I will save them from the attic. Following the clue up into the eaves, the couple make a gruesome discovery. Their dream home was once a house of horrors. In the wake of their traumatic discovery, the baby arrives and Mia can't shake her fixation with the monstrous crimes that happen right above them. That's all I'm going to read about it. Definitely don't want to know too much, um, but yeah, it sounds, it sounds super creepy, so I'm, I'm here for it. I'm ready. And then I couldn't wait any longer. I picked The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. This is supposedly like his best work ever, so I'm definitely excited to get into it. I'm late to the party, so I'm sure y'all already know what this is about. But it says, on a flight from London to Boston, Ted Severson meets the stunning Lily Kintner. Over martinis, the strangers play a game in which they reveal intimate details about themselves. Ted talks about his wife, Miranda, how their marriage has gone stale, how a week ago he caught her in a stunning betrayal. But what begins as playful banter between Ted and Lily takes a swift turn when Ted claims, half seriously, that he would like to kill his wife. Then Lily surprises him by saying that she'd like to help. That's just the first little paragraph of the synopsis, so I'm not going to read into much of it because I, I don't want to know. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get to this one. I also chose The Replacement Wife by jo Darby Kane. This has also been something I have been anticipating to read. Uh, I loved her first book, so I'm definitely ready to get back into another story of hers. It says, how many wives and girlfriends need to disappear before your family notices? Elisa Wright is a mom and wife living a nice quiet life in a nice quiet town. She's also convinced her brother-in-law is a murderer. Josh has one dead wife and one missing fiance, and though he grieved for them, he starts dating someone new. Elisa fears for that woman's safety, and she desperately wants to know what happened to her friend, Josh's missing fiance. Don't lose your spot, Josh's missing fiance. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to get stuff to cook with. Okay. Be back. All right. Searching for clues means investigating her own family. And she doesn't like what she finds. Okay, I don't want to read anymore. Excited to get into this one. And then I don't want to get too far behind with my book of the month because that's what it's starting to look like once again. So I chose What Lies in the Wood by Kate Alice Marshall. I've actually heard pretty good things about this book, so I'm I'm anxious to get into it. There were eleven when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. Naomi Shaw used to believe in magic. 22 years ago, she and her two best friends, Cassidy and Olivia, spent the summer roaming the woods, imagining a world of ceremony and wonder. The goddess game. The game became an obsession and a refuge for three girls. That sanctuary was suddenly shattered when Naomi was attacked. Miraculously, she survived her 17 stab wounds and lived to identify the man who hurt her. The girl's testimony put away a serial killer wanted for murdering six women. They were heroes and they were liars. So I'm not sure 
where They Were Liars comes in from, but apparently there's a secret in the wood that one of the girls knows, and um, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, and of course, I wanna continue choosing some Mel Mel Romances out my Mel Mel Romance jar. Uh, so I'm gonna choose two since I already have two um, Mel Mel Romances on my current list, so I'm just gonna to choose two more from the jar. It's getting, it's getting low, so we're doing good. Although I didn't read Blindsided in May like I was supposed to. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. Oh, I picked two. Oh, no, no I did, sorry. Oh, Iced Out by C.E. Ricky. This is the first book in the Lighten You series. And this looks like it's a hockey Mel Mel romance. It says, all's fair in hate and hockey. My path to success never included an enemy as a teammate, especially one as infuriating as Quentin de Haas. Clawing under my skin is his favorite pastime, only feeding the animosity between us as the years pass. We're as completely opposite as two people can be. The golden boy and the black sheep. Constantly at odds or at each other's throats. The only thing we can agree on is that hockey is our true love and will do whatever it takes to come out on top. I never imagined that drive would lead me to the unthinkable, falling into bed with my not so straight rival. Absolutely, yes. I Stout is the first in a five book standalone college sports romance series featuring two misunderstood rival teammates, pages of snarky banter, and more secret spicy times than any book should be filled with. Not suitable for those under 18. I'm a sucker for a good sports male male romance, so I'm excited about this one. Okay, one more. Heels Overhead by East Springer. I don't know if that's how you say the author's name. This has been on my TBR for years. <laughs> so I'm excited about this one. Let me see if I can find it on Goodreads, well I'm sure I can. I think this is this is also a sports romance, but it's about swimmers. Oh my god, I keep typing the wrong thing in. Yes, why I have never gotten to this book, I don't know. Uh, but yes, this is about two men on opposite swim teams, I believe. It says Jeremy Jeremy Reeve is one of the best divers in the world and he's worked hard he's worked hard to get where he is. He intends to keep pushing himself with one very close goal in mind, winning gold at the Summer Olympics in two years. That medal might be the only way to earn his father's respect as an athlete. Brandon Evans is everything Jeremy isn't, carefree, outgoing, and openly gay. With his bright blue eyes and dramatic tattoos, he's a temptation that Jeremy refuses to acknowledge. But Jeremy can't ignore how talented Brandon is or that Brandon has no interest in using his diving skills to compete. They're opposites who are focused to work together as teammates. But Jeremy's fear of his own sexuality and Brandon's disinterest in anything not fun may end their partnership before it begins until a single moment changes everything and they help each other discover that team can also mean family and love. It sounds super adorable. Like I said, it's been on my TBR for years. I don't know why I never read it, but here we are. I'm gonna do my best to get to it this month. Okay, that is it for um, my possible TBR for the month of July. I'm super excited. And we are getting into the core of the summer, y'all, over here. It is very, very hot. So I hope y'all are having a great summer so far. Let me know in the comments what you'll be planning on reading for the month of July. Hugs from me all around, y'all, and I'll see y'all very soon in a new video. Bye, y'all.